All right, all right, all right. Paint with faith. You know, we had to switch the game up a little bit. We're going to do our, our first live painting class on today. I'm going to wait to see if some people are going to join in and watch what we're doing. We know the summer is coming up. Kids are going to be stuck in the house. Uh, artists are going to be kind of stuck, you know, in their space. And I want to offer some opportunity for uh, people to do their painting classes, you know, while they're at home. So we're going to offer some opportunities all next week. I'll tell you the dates and the times uh, when we're going to be, you know, doing these classes. You know, I see some people joining in. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, but Paint With Faith, you know, we want to be able to go global. We want to be everywhere. We want to be able to do and service more people. If you don't know who we are, uh, we're a motivational painting company. So we're what you will call uh, an amalgamation or, or a combination of a motivational speaker or a life coach and also an artist. So we took those two worlds, we combined them, and that's what we have is a uh, Paint With Faith. So we're going to get some more people on. If you are an artist, if you have some art materials, you know, go ahead and go get them. If you have a canvas, if you have a paintbrush, you know, go grab those things. If you're going to do watercolor or, or oil paint or acrylic, I'm going to be using acrylic on today. If you want to do any of those things, uh, go grab them now. I'll give you an opportunity to do that. We're going to probably do maybe like a 30-minute class uh, to get people activated, uh, get people involved, and we want everybody to be inspired about what we're doing. So a little bit about Paint With Faith is uh, we've been in business for over six years and we want to be able to teach people faith, you know, using the means of art, using the means of expression of art. And so people are able to uh, take their abilities as an artist and be able to be better at it with the faith. Sometimes you may find artists kind of pull back, kind of shutter back from, you know, what they're able to do. You might be an artist, but you may not be able to be a business owner because you, you might be too uh, scared to take that step or you may be fearful that you may fail. But uh, I'm a prime example of how you can take art and become a business owner and be successful at it as well. So we want to be able to encourage and motivate both people. Uh, what we want to be able to do is we want to have people who uh, are artists who may not know they're looking for, you know, motivation. So they'll meet that need. And then we have some people that may need, you know, motivation and who may not be an artist. So they'll meet that need. So we're going to be able to, to meet the needs of both people to be motivated and to be able to create something beautiful. And then a piece that you have at the end is going to be an opportunity for you to see what you can do if you put your mind to it. Again, we're a motivational company and we use art as a means for you to exercise that, that faith within yourself. And we believe that if you can complete, you know, a beautiful painting, uh, whatever we decide to do, then what else could you achieve in your life with just some guidance, just some motivation, and just some faith in yourself? Because if you can do that, then what else could you achieve? Your goals, your dreams, if you want to buy real estate, if you want to start a business, if you want to be a dancer, football player, for the kids out there who aspire and do great things, if you want to be an entrepreneur. Listen, we're using this means of faith as an example for you to exercise it. So if you've never taken a chance in your life, take a chance with art. At least you can see how far you've come without the abilities. So our motto is your life is a canvas uh, painted with faith. So if you can do that, then your life can be whatever you want. It's up to you to go ahead and, um, and paint it with faith. So I'm just waiting for a couple more people to get on. I see you know all the people that's out there. My cousin Donna, Janine, thanks for watching. We're gonna get started in a minute. Again, I said if you have any art materials, whether it be paper, uh, whether it be you know crayons, markers, you can do this. The steps will be the same. The steps will be the same. You can do it with any media, um, but just follow along with my lead, and I'll show you and guide you uh, some techniques. Uh, something that I normally don't do in my classes is give you special techniques. You know, special techniques uh, will allow you to do uh, what you need to do, and sometimes. When you're in my classes or any art class, you may be afraid to raise your hand and say, you know, what brush are you using? Or, you know, I'm not getting the effect that I want with this. So with this class, with this interactive class that we're going to be offering, you'll be able to ask those questions. I'll give you an artistic answer. I'll give you a professional answer. Uh, if any of my students are online watching, you know, how you doing, Mr. Davis? Uh, I've been out here, you know, teaching kids since 2006, teaching them art and in Miami. Uh, Dade County and if you're on here you know these are some lessons that you already learned but you know give me a shout out if you if you need to but we're gonna get started in about two minutes uh, again this is a paint with faith virtual class we're gonna be offering this class uh, all next week I'll tell you the times you can have your children tune in 
They can get a free art lesson from Paint with Faith. Uh, we're going to do, you know, maybe four or five paintings next week. Uh, and I'll give you specific time so they'll know when to tune in. And, um, you know, they have beautiful paintings. So parents, if you want your kids to learn some art lessons, you can go to Walmart. You can go to Michael's, Hobby Lobby. You know, a lot of places have canvases. You don't need the most expensive stuff for these lessons that we're going to do because we're going to be teaching uh, special techniques. And again, uh, our goal is to have people motivated uh, with our classes. Again, we're a motivational company that takes art. And we're going to use that. That means of not knowing what you're doing, which is your life is a blank canvas, to bring you to some concrete materials, some manifestation of your faith, some things that you can exercise your faith with. And so we're going to bring those two together and see what you can achieve when you live your life and paint it with faith. Your life is a canvas, paint it with faith. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'll tell you what materials you need. Uh, I'm going to be starting with some, some brushes. I have a, a wide brush here. All right, let me get one. Oh, there we go. All right, see, this is this is going to be new for all of us, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. So we're going to use uh, this red brush here. This will be my wide brush, and I'll use this small brush if you want to know what type of brushes I use. I use Taclon brushes, and I like to use the plastic one because they, they last a long time. I can beat them up. I can drop them. Uh, the best thing you need to know is if you leave it in water, uh, if you have wooden brushes, you leave it in water, this will swell, this will come loose, and then your brush is destroyed. So that's just a little quick art lesson, just a little tip. If you're going to get your kids some brushes, don't get the wooden brushes. Get some plastic brushes. Uh, I'm using Taclon, T-A-K-L-O-N brushes. The bristles last a long time. You can beat them up. Uh, one lesson, if you don't clean your brush out properly, your brush is going to be ruined. All right. So make sure uh, when you're teaching your kids to paint, make sure they don't leave the brushes with the paint on them. Make sure they wash the brushes out thoroughly so they can last a long time. So that's I'm using Taclon brushes again with the plastic handles. I got a bowl of water here. Listen, this is a very low budget class. Parents, you don't have to go out and get the most expensive things. Again, if you do get the most expensive things, uh, the quality is going to be better. But if your kid is just learning, just starting out, learning how to paint, you know, let them get a chance to get their feet wet, wet uh, so to speak, and be able to, really the technique is what you need to learn through these Paint and Faith class. So I just got a regular paper plate with some paint on it. I'm using red, blue, yellow. The primary colors are red, blue, yellow. Again, I'm an art teacher at heart, so I'm gonna give you some lessons throughout this class. I'm gonna use green, which is a secondary color, the only one I use because it comes in the bottom. And then black and white. So we're gonna be doing, um, and then lastly, most of all, we're gonna need our canvas, all right? If you're watching, you know, type in I can, because this is called a canvas, not a canvas, all right? Which means whatever goals or Things you need to achieve in your life, you can do it. All right. Normally in my classes, I have everybody repeat after me. If I believe, somebody type it in for me. If I believe, I can achieve. All right. So give me some likes if you like that. If you believe it, you can achieve it. And if you say those things in your times of, of doubt and reconsideration, then you'll be able to achieve your goal. So again, we got our canvas. It's not called a canvas. Don't say I don't know how to paint. Don't say, I don't know what I'm doing because you can. This is called a canvas. So, uh, and then I have, you know, normally I use washcloths, but if you have kids at home, if you're a parent uh, and you don't want the kids messing up your washcloths, um, you can go ahead and just use some, you know, I use a, like a stack of, of napkins or paper towels to dry their brushes off with thoroughly. It's up to you. Um, if you have extra dirty washcloths that you want to get rid of, art is the best way to do that. So let's get started. It's going to be it. This is our, our first free lesson. I'm very excited. Thanks for, for joining in. Again, this is the Paint with Faith uh, digital version or virtual class that we're going to be offering for the uh, the month of oh, the month of March, but spring break uh, purposely. So we're going to have spring breakers painting with us all next week. Again, I'll give you the date and times. But if you have uh, you know your paint, your brush, if you have markers or crayons, this is still going to work. Uh, you can follow these steps. We're just going to do a very simple uh, landscape. This is mainly the, the first painting we do for all of our classes with new clients. If we have, you know, senior citizens clients, they're able to do this. If we have young kids, four, five, six, seven, eight years old, they're able to do this. And when we go and do our pop-up classes at, uh, at, at events, at the stadium, at, um, you know, a festival, we do this painting because it's the easiest thing. When you look at it, it's relaxing. We're in sunny South Florida, and it's just a beautiful scene. We have a lot of people down here from the Caribbean and from the islands, from Cuba. And so this scene reminds me of home. So again, we're going to start off with our big brush. Again, tackle on brushes if you're just tuning in. Um, 
This is called a Royal Tech line. I'll tell you at the end where I buy it from. Again, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Michael's. I don't know if CVS or Walgreens have canvases and brushes, but you know, most places that have a canvas and a brush for you, go grab it for next week. We're gonna do a couple free classes. You can tune in. And so let's get started. So we're gonna start off with our big brush. And we're gonna get some yellow. Again, I'm just show you every single step. Just follow my lead. If you have a marker or crayon, even if you just got a pen and you just wanna learn how to draw a canvas, uh, I draw a, a landscape. You can use a pen or a pencil as well, but we're just gonna do mm -hmm. this. We're gonna have fun. I'm using this eight by 10, very small canvas to make the class short. So I'm just gonna do a yellow line straight across. So if you have the paint, you can do this. If you have a yellow marker, you can do this. If you have you know, a pen or a pencil, you can do this. Because it's really we're really teaching just the technique here and we wanna be able to um, give everybody uh, just the technique and the process and our goal is to have a beautiful painting. Again, our, your life is a canvas painted with faith. And we also believe that there's no mistakes in art, uh, just room for opportunity. In life, you make no mistakes, you just create new opportunities. And we want you to be motivated through this. So if you're gonna be able to make a mistake in life, just consider it a new opportunity for you to learn. We don't take L's, we only take lessons. All right, so again, this is only, this is a motivational painting class. The, the, the ability to have something to look at that you said you've completed, it's the process of you exercising your faith and understanding that if you achieve the goal of finishing this painting or piece of artwork, then what else could you achieve in your life? So we're going to just take this yellow line. We're going to paint it all the way up uh, to the top. We made a mistake there. It's okay. No mistakes in art. Just room for opportunity. Watch that turn into something beautiful and creative. And I've learned in my life that if, if I just keep on painting, and that's synonymous with keep on living. So if I keep on painting, then again, some things would be revealed to me. Uh, the mistakes I think I made are some just com some corrections that I think I needed to make in my life. So it's important that we, we make those mistakes. It's important that we, we take those chances because sometimes beautiful things uh, come out of what we call mistakes in life. But we don't say we don't make mistakes. We just create new opportunities. So let's go ahead. We're going to fill this top piece all the way. All right, so the top part of our canvas is going to be all yellow. All right. Now, I'm not going to clean my brush off. I'm the type of artist to keep my, my brush, um, whatever colors on it. I'm not going to do that today because I don't want you guys to get, you know, you know some people may have, you know, so-called OCD or just be tense about this. But um, normally, I don't clean my brush off. I just paint till all the color goes out. All right, so I'm going to keep it yellow on this brush this time. You can see that right there. I'm going to put a little bit of red on it, just a little dot, all right, because... Again, with these classes, the best thing apart about it is you're going to have different techniques that I'm going to teach you. It's really about the way you use the paint, the canvas, and the brush, and the water to really uh, bring your painting together. So the same thing about life. It's really what, what you use and materials that you have that's going to bring out the best in you. All right, so with that red, I'm just going to do a red line right at the top. All right, and I'm going to, I'm going to take this slow because I want everybody, if you're just tuning in, uh, to see what we're about. This is our first Paint and Faith uh, virtual class. And again, it's going to be very basic. I'm getting my feet wet, you know, trying this new material. Again, all the Paint and Faith classes have been canceled for the rest of the month until further notice. But I still want to be able to connect with you and give you what you need in, in the process of, of some art and some motivation. All right. So we put an art and motivation together and that's how we got Paint with Faith. So we're going to take that red line. And we're just going to go left. Now, the key to this, to making this work properly and to get the proper blend, and makeup is called ombre, but the art is called a gradient. So to get the perfect gradient, I want you to go all the way left and all the way right. Now, if you're an artist and you have some different techniques, you want to do different types of strokes, listen, feel free to do that. But for, the, for, for you who's still learning and just want the technique part, I want you to take your brush all the way left and all the way right. This allows the paint to wear down. Uh, the red to wear down and it's going to allow us to uh, get more yellow into the painting so we're going to go left and right and you'll start to see the red fade and the yellow come in you know and that's exactly what we want that's exactly what we want we want uh the the red to stay where it is and then that yellow start to take over as we come down all right we don't want to go all the way down maybe about halfway we want to have a couple streaks if you go outside and maybe about an hour or two you'll start to see these streaks you want your your uh, sky to look just like that nice sunset, all right? You can see that's blending in very nicely. 
um, get these little edges right here. And sometimes I'll take some of this red up here and I'll just take a little short line and I kind of just dash it across. All right, just dash it. This is just me being free. Um, just, you know, feeling myself a little bit. Again, it's a motivational painting class. If you're just tuning in, uh, tell your kids to grab some markers, tell them to grab crayons. Just, the effects still work. Uh, the techniques will still work. And, uh, you know, everybody can do this. We're going to paint with faith. It's not about you learning to be a master artist, but it's really about you exercising your faith as an individual to learn um, what you can do in life with just some guidance, some motivation, and just some faith in yourself. Now, uh, again, we're going to be doing these classes. I'm going to keep repeating it. We're going to be doing some free classes all next week. We know the kids are home. It's really the real spring break. Uh, so the real sp spring break starts next week. Uh, I'll give you a time for you, your kids to join in. We're going to do a couple paintings next week. If you need to, go get some canvases from Walmart. Get your canvases um, from Michael's, wherever you need to get them from. Get them for next week. Get about five, and uh, we'll be able to do some painting classes together. I see some of my students joining in. What's up? I see people from all over the country. What's up? Again, it's our first digital or virtual paint with faith class. You can go back and watch it if you want to see it from the beginning. But we want people to be motivated, most of all and encouraged with their abilities as an artist. All right, so we got a nice, beautiful sky. I think I'm feeling myself. I like it. If you like it, if you like it, give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. Give me something. Tell me you like it. Now, the next step we're going to do, we're going to clean our brush off. And if you need me to slow down, just say so. If you need a comment, if you have a question, you can type it in there. I'm going to use my washcloth. I have very simple materials this time. Again, I got a canvas. I got some, some napkins, some paper towels, a plate full of colors. Very low budget version, but we want the kids to really get the technique. So after that, we're going to get with our big brush. Again, big brush, we're going to get blue. And we're going to paint the second half, the second half of our painting with blue. We just gonna, Listen, this line doesn't have to be perfectly straight, all right? We just lay in the foundation. Again, there's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. We really want to be able to just learn the techniques of what we're doing. Uh, normally in my painting faith class, I can't really go into many techniques. But I will start to go into techniques uh, as we develop this class and we develop the fellowship of this class. And I'll start to give you more techniques because it's really about the technique, not about uh, the materials. And, you know, many artists, they use whatever they can use at the time to develop what they need to develop. So we're just going to take this big brush and we're going to fill this bottom piece all blue. All right. So, again, this is our first digital class, first virtual class. Uh, we're going to be teaching techniques to your kids. Get them some, get them some art materials, some canvases, some paint. All right, if you can't afford the canvases or the paint, you can use crayons and markers. The steps will be the same. Of course, it's a different media. Media is another term for using different type of art materials. So, um, different media is fine. The steps will be the same. So, if I were using markers or crayons, I would have just used a yellow marker and fill that whole part yellow on a regular sheet of paper. I would have got a red marker and it came across the sky. I would have got a blue marker and went across the water. So these steps will still apply for any media. Again, media is another term for different art materials. All right, so we're just going to be doing a basic landscape here. Very excited for the people that's tuning in. Thank you so much. We're really trying to develop an audience for these virtual paint and faith classes. We're not going to do any summer camps for this, uh, any spring camps. Uh, for next week, so I'm going to offer the, the kids to tune in from the spring camp and tell all my clients and all my customers that they can tune in for the senior citizens who may be stuck at home. If you have a, a parent that may be stuck in an assistant living facility uh, because they can't go out, get them a canvas, get them a paint, tune in. I'll let you know the, the days and the times. You can always go back to the live and show it to them as well, and you can walk it through them. And even you guys can paint together. Uh, again, just using acrylic paint, canvas. We have a big brush, small brush, washcloth, a paper plate, and a, a styrofoam bowl of water. Very simple. We're going to do low budget. Give me some thumbs up, some likes if you're liking what I'm saying. All right, I'm cleaning my, my blue brush off. And give me a thumbs up if you want to put some clouds up there. Let me know if we should put some clouds. See somebody laughing out there. That's good. Um, let me know if we should put some clouds. Normally, I don't do clouds, but I think we should do some today. Give me a thumbs up or a love or a heart. Uh, if you want to do some clouds, got you. I see that. So let's we're gonna take our big brush again. Show you a special technique. We're gonna get some white. All these techniques I, I pretty much developed myself from my years of painting uh, as an artist. 
and uh, I'll bring it closer to you so you can see what's going on. We're gonna do, if you know any artists, you'll notice that sometimes they hover over what they're gonna do uh, before they do it. So this is an opportunity for you to, to watch. And you see some artists, they'll hover. This is why we wanna connect our, or manifest what's in our mind to the canvas or the paper or pencil, whatever. So we're just gonna do a, a circle. All right, a circle, we're gonna start with that, all right? Doing art is just learning how to manipulate and use basic shapes. Then I'm gonna make a medium-sized circle. All right, then I'm gonna make a small circle. All right, with that, we have a very uh, elementary style cloud, but if we take those circles and move them, uh, we'll make our cloud more realistic, all right? And we'll just go from a big circle, medium circle, and small. And we just keep rotating our brush in that technique. We want it to fade into the sky like a real cloud would do. And we're just gonna do these circular motions. How's that look? Looking good. I like to always use all the paint on my brush. I got a little blue in there, that's fine. And we'll start to create, you know, a realistic looking cloud from that effect. All right, give me thumbs up, or hearts, likes. If you like that, let me know what you think. Give me some comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, it's a motivational painting class. We're motivating people, teaching them art, teaching them different techniques. Normally we can't show techniques in our classes. Uh, because we don't have the time and we can't give that that attention. But in these virtual paint with faith classes, we're going to give special attention to techniques and details. And for the people that's joining in, this is our first class, and we're just going to be able to develop develop this for uh, kids that may be you know stay at home for next week, and we'll teach them some painting classes as well. See that is that Shakira, you know, when the uh, middle school with Shakira. So shout out to her. Thanks for watching. She know these techniques we learn from. You know, Mr. Monsino and, and all of these uh, are great people. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Coach Rowe. Um, thanks for the shout out. Again, we're going to create some more clouds. This is very basic techniques uh, that we want to develop for people. Again, it's not about the art in these painting faith classes. It's really about you being motivated, uh, being captivated by what you can do because you can do all things. All right. We always say that in our class, you can do all things if you put your mind to it. It's really about being motivated. Uh, being guided and having faith in yourself all right that's what paint with faith is about so let's do a smaller cloud right here i'm gonna do a line first and again we're gonna do those circular motions medium and then small so we'll start big medium and then small all right so we have that little cloud right there and then from that i'm just gonna take that shape and just work with it it's okay if you get your hands dirty that's part of the part of the job all right and then i just kind of fade these clouds in to the sky, all right? It don't need to be too bright, all right? We want to fade into the sky. And, you know, I don't want my sky to look too naked, so I'm gonna just throw another little one, you know, in the back, inside the red, so it can show a little bit better. You see that? And I'm gonna do the big one in the meat in the middle this time, and then two smaller ones on the end, all right? The best thing about doing clouds is they don't have to be realistic, and it's actually my most favorite thing to paint is clouds, all right? My um, college, Professor John Kittner, uh, shout out to him. He said that I paint like a woman because I was very delicate, delicate with the brush. You know, I took it as a compliment. All right, so those are clouds. They're looking good. Again, I don't like to clean my brush off, so I'm gonna stay with the white paint that's on my brush, and I'm gonna create, you know, some reflections in the water. Again, you can follow step by step is what we did. If you need to go back and see where we started, that's fine. And we're just gonna tap and pull, tap and pull, tap and pull. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing it very fast, tapping and pulling. I got some yellow on my brush from the sky. I love it. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to create some waves. Now, if you want some real waves, you know, you can do that. You got the freedom rain to do that as well. And thanks for joining in. It's our first uh, virtual paint with faith class. You know, we want you to be motivated. We want you to be excited. And we want the kids to have something to do uh, next week. Uh, so we'll be giving you the days and the times that we'll be doing these classes all next week. They'll be able to come in, watch, see what we're doing, learn some art lessons. So if you need to, go out, get some paint, get some canvases. Uh, we're using acrylic paint. You can try watercolor. You can use oil. Oil is the most expensive paint. So if you don't know what's going on, um, oil paint is the most expensive paint. So if you're not ready to delve in that, in that realm yet, don't do it. Um, acrylic is the, is the best thing, I think, for kids to get started. Watercolor is a very difficult paint for beginners. Uh, the best thing about this class, like I said, I'm going to give you techniques uh, that you may not get the experience in our normal paint with faith class. I'll teach you techniques. I'll tell you what materials we're using. 
and I'll give you an in-depth look of what we're, what we're doing. All right, so again, I'm just taking some of this white that we use from the sky. I'm just making, you, you know how you look out into the ocean and you see the water glistening, and you're like, oh man, it looks beautiful. That's what this is right here, all right? So I always tell my students, art is an optical illusion. We want the, the people that's watching it to believe uh, in what we're doing. So we're just doing, you know, like magic, really. We just want it to look like the water is shining, like the sun is shining on it. And we, again, we're just tapping and pulling, tap and pull. So we're just tapping and pulling. Again, we're just talking, I'm just showing you techniques, all right? This is not a master art class. This is for beginners who want to become a master. And we want you to just watch these different techniques. And uh, I'm going to give you the basic techniques. So you just tap it and pull and tap and pull. Again, if you want really choppy water, um, you can do that as well. I'm just going to just dab and just, you know, put a little bit more in this bottom area. The farther you look out, the more white you'll see at the top. And as you get closer to the shore, you'll see less. So that's just a little technique. So next time you look at a painting or a canvas, this is what you How's it looking so far? Give me some thumbs up, some likes. This is our verse, uh, virtual class. I'm very excited to see uh, what people think about this. I want people to tune in again next week for the kids it's on spring break. They'll be able to do some paint with faith classes. If you need a, a break for you know 30 minutes to an hour, you want your kids to sit down and, and learn something, uh, paint with faith will be able to do that for you. We're not going out into the community uh, physically, but we'll go out into the community uh, virtually. So y'all tune in for us. I'll give you those times uh, where you can tune in. So the hope is looking good. Give me some thumbs up if you like it. I'm going to clean my brush off again. Big brush. And again, um, this is a Paint With Faith virtual class, our very first one. Um, and I think it's going pretty good. Um, we live. I can make mistakes. But we believe that there's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity in your life. Whenever you think you made a mistake, you didn't make a mistake. You just created a new opportunity. Again, we don't take uh, L's. We take we learn lessons. So we want to be able to uh, take some lessons from what we do. This is a prime example where we believe that your life is a canvas painted with faith. So if you can paint your life with faith, then it can be whatever you want it to be. You can make adjustments. You can go back and forth and you can do what you want to do in your life. So it can be that creative motivation, guidance, and faith in yourself. That's what's going to take you to that next level. So I'm cleaning my brush off. I'm going to go straight to black. All right, we're going to create um, a little beach area over here, a little wooden fence. You know, when you go out to the beach and um, you're walking down to the sand, there might be a little fence uh, that's been there for about 100 years. We're going to paint that in. We're going to create a little island over here. It's a palm tree. And again, if you're looking out, and the sun is so bright, it might be a silhouette. So we're going to go with that basic look. All right, so first we're going to create uh, the little sandscape over here. Coming with the black, so big brush in black. And we're just going to create a little, little island right here on this side. All right, and I'll go very low and then I'll come up on the other side. All right, can you guys see that? Yeah, that's looking good. I'm going to fill this in all black. All right, again, we're keeping it simple for today. Keeping it very simple for today. Uh, it's our first lesson, first class. Again, if your kids don't have paint and if they don't have um, a canvas, they can do this with markers. They can do it with crayons. Uh, they can do it with color pencils. They can do it with pastels. Uh, any art material, the, the steps will be the same. You just need to follow along and I'll give you step by step what you need to do. Um, so, but if you, if you have a chance, go to Walmart, go to Michael's, go to Hobby Lobby, one of those places, any local art store, get you some acrylic paint, get you a, a couple canvases. We're going to do about five paintings next week. And um, <clears throat> you can follow along what we're going to be doing so your kids won't be stuck in the house. You won't be stuck in the house for you actually have some paintings that you can hang up on the wall. So, uh, so far we got those little islands. I'm going to switch over from my big brush to my small brush. Again, these Paint with Faith class, I'm going to give you uh, lessons that you may not get in the normal Paint with Faith class. I'll tell you what type of brushes I'm using. I'm using Taclon brushes. Again, we want to get the plastic ones. They last longer. If you get the wooden ones and you leave them in the water, uh, the wood will swell, then it will shrink, and then this piece right here will come right off. So uh, make sure make sure that you get the right brushes for your kids uh, if you want them to last long. And if you leave the Taclon in the water, they can last. So I got the brushes that will last. <clears throat> uh, so we can keep going with these classes. Again, we're doing a beautiful landscape. 
It's our first class. We're going to have stuff for the kids to do if you're just joining in for next week. Spring break painting classes. So make sure you tune in. I'll tell you those times and those dates. So we're going with the small brush and black. And um, let's create a palm tree. All right. Keep it real simple. Let's create a palm tree. Uh, give me some thumbs up if you like it. Give me some some heart. So we'll start with a tree right here. We'll do a, what you want to do, three or two? Give me a, give me which one, three or two trees. Let me know. Let me get some involvement, get some activity. We'll start towards the middle over here. We're going to go straight up. All right. Now, to make thinner lines, again, techniques. I'm going to give a lot of techniques in these classes because you may not normally get them in our normal classes. So I'll give you special techniques that I may not say in a class in order for us to um, have the right time. So we're going to take our brush and in order to make thin lines, all right, we're going to spread our brush kind of in a flat way. We're going to flip it, spread it again. All right. And you can get an up close look of what you may have. If you turn the brush to the side, you can have, you know, more of a thinner, thinner line. So if you want thin lines, you're going to turn your brush in a thin way. If you want wide lines, you turn your brush the other way. All right. Using your brush, is a special technique that you're going to be able to, all right, I see three, you want three trees, appreciate that, got you. Um, so that's one tree. We're going to keep it thin. Now, when you're painting, it's always easier to start small and then go bigger. Like if I was doing these clouds, I could do a small cloud and go bigger. But once it's bigger, it's going to be very difficult to go smaller. All right, so let's do three trees. we got one going here, one going here, and this last one will kind of, um, you know, like, you know, when you're walking with some kids, if you have three or more kids, you see you have two that's following directions, then you may have a last one that just um, go on their own. So that's what this tree is. It's just going to be that tree that, that goes on their own. All right, so that's going to be the basis of our tree. Now, I'm going to show you two different techniques, okay, uh, with doing these trees. Sometimes I'll use the black to give me a better uh, variation of color when I get to the green. So we'll do both and see. See which one we like best. All right, so let's start with this one. If you have your brush and your paint, I have the audience kind of go with me. We say this together for interaction. Everybody say right. Okay, so I can't hear you. So just type in right. Okay, so we'll go right. All right, and then uh, everybody say left. You know, just, you could just type in left. I'll just move a little bit faster because you know, I just want to get you guys involved with me. I'm glad you're joining in. Again, we're going to be teaching painting lessons. We're going up and then up painting lenses for the summer. They go down. And let's let's do an extra one today. Let's go down again. Alright. So, you know, that's the basis of our tree. Now I was saying, um, thank y'all, thank y'all for joining. I appreciate that. So the key to this, and again, I'm giving special techniques that I normally don't give in a class through these paint with fave lessons. So this paint is wet. We want it to stay wet when we go to the next color. The better that it's um mixed up with, the better it'll blend. So I'm going to take the black that's already in my brush. I'm going to take a little bit off and I'm going to go straight into the green because I want the black and green to mix together. Now, uh, we're going to go right along this branch and we're going to pull down. Everybody say down. All right, Danielle, appreciate that. Um, so we're going down. So we're going to pull down, down, down along the branch. Now we're going to go, we're not going to go on the branch down, but we're going to go away or perpendicular to the branch down. So we're just going to pull, pull, Pull. Let me get closer so you can kind of see what we're doing. So we're pulling at an angle of those leaves to that palm tree. And the key is you're going to press hard at the beginning of the stroke and then pull softly as you're coming off from the stroke. All right. So you're pulling and then kind of pulling off at the same time. And you can even see that, you know, some of that black is mixed in with that green. That's exactly what we want. Same thing on the next branch we're gonna pull that black from the branch we're pulling that black from the branch right into our brush you can see that the uh, black is kind of fading away that's exactly what we want all right again in these classes there's gonna be um, different techniques that you may not normally get in a paint with faith class or any paint class unless you hire a private teacher so we're gonna be teaching special techniques you see that so I'm pulling that black off of the branch and I'm pulling it right into that green all right we're going at an angle going at an angle away all right going at an angle we're just pulling those so one technique also is I want I want the strokes to be wider leaves to be wider and then progressively get smaller as I get to the end of the tree all right and then again 
Uh, I'm gonna go the other way this time. I'm gonna go the other way. So again, we pulling that, pulling away from that black. We're pulling that black off with the green. Again, the paint is still wet. That's what we want. And then we're gonna do these last two. Last two. It's okay if you run into the other tree. Again, uh, we're doing paint with fade classes. That we're gonna be teaching the kids next week um, during spring break. If you wanna tune in, get them some paint, get them some canvas, get them some brushes. Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any art store, you can have these things. Uh, and again, it's really about the motivation. It's not necessarily about being a perfect artist, but it's really about the motivation that you may need uh, through these classes. We believe that you can do all things, and we believe that you can do anything if you just have the right motivation, you know, the right guidance, and then some faith or belief in yourself. That's what painting faith is about. All right, so how the tree is looking? Give me some thumbs up, some likes. All right, so the tree is going good now. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to get a little bit, again, I don't like cleaning off my brush. I will clean it this time just for, just for the sake of showing you guys, cleaning my brush off. I'm going to get some pure green without the black. And you see how we went in this direction? All right. We went in this direction the first. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. All right. Same angle, opposite direction. Same angle, opposite direction. We're pulling right from that middle dark green line. All right. And this will give us a more realistic approach to a tree. Now, it's important how you use your brush because that's going to give you the illusion of real leaves. All right, you see that right there? That's exactly what we want. It's looking beautiful. I love it. So, <clears throat> again, we did the dark side. Now we're doing the light side. And the contrast is what really makes art look realistic. The contrast mm -hmm. of dark versus light, um, that's what's really going to take us to that next level. Again, we're going to go in the opposite direction with the leaves and we're pulling from that middle line that we created in the beginning. All right. And we're going to do that. Now, anybody can do this. These steps I'm giving more detail, more technique uh, than you would normally get in a paint with fade class. And so we just want you to see how we do this. All right. Anybody can do these classes because you just got to be motivated. You got to be encouraged. We always say at the beginning of every class, if you believe you can achieve. And so you can do this. This is called a canvas, not a canvas. So you can do this, all right? So again, we're gonna go the opposite direction, opposite direction, pulling from that middle line. It's important that you pull from the middle line. And you're being very light, very delicate with the brush. Very light, very delicate with the brush. For the people that's joining in, we're gonna be doing paint lessons all next week uh, for the kids for spring break. We can't physically come to you, but we can come to, come to you uh, virtually and we want you to be able to join in and paint with us. All right, am I missing one? I'm missing one more. Let me get this last one. We're just creating a beautiful landscape here. All right, and I'm gonna show you a different technique uh, with the next tree, all right? So we started with the black and we went in with the light green and um, that's basically what our tree looked like. Now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without going with the black. All right, we're gonna create the next tree. Again, it's okay to overlap. In art, it's okay to overlap. In order to be a great artist, you have to learn to overlap because you have to paint, on, uh, paint or draw on top of your last drawing. So we're just gonna overlap these trees. The brother and sister, you know, sometimes you have to sleep in the bed with your brother or your sister. You got your arm over there. You got your leg over there. It's basically the same thing with this, these palm trees, this family, all right? So we're gonna go left first. Everybody say left. All right, then we're gonna go right. Everybody say right. Okay, then we're gonna go up. Everybody say up or type up. We're going to go up again. All right. And then we're going to go down. Again, it's okay to overlap. Don't be nervous. We're going to go down again. All right. <clears throat> so last time we used black to start the trees. This time we're just going to go straight green. Um, thanks for joining in. I'll pull back some so you can see the full painting. All right. Let's get, in, let's get this going. Uh, again, next week, we'll do these classes for the kids. You can tune in and see where we're going. So again, with this line, we're going to pull away from the line, okay? Perpendicular. We're going to pull down, 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 down. All right? It's again to use your strokes in a certain way. You don't want to use the brush the wide way because you won't get the effect. All right? Again, with these paint face classes, I'm going to teach you techniques that I don't normally teach. So you don't want to use the wide way. You want to turn the brush, uh, which is basically like this. You want your brush this way, not this way. So the thin lines are this way, wide lines are that way. So I'm teaching you techniques that you normally may not get in my classes, all right? So we're gonna pull very thin lines 
and you can start to see how the the bristles of the brush will start to make it give it that look like leaves that's what you want all right again we're going to pull 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 down 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 right from that line all right I'm gonna feel, and i always tell people in the class don't be stingy with your leaves all right don't space them out like this all right you know that tree gonna be hungry make sure you feed it all right don't be stingy with the leaves give it give your tree some light all right and if you made those spaces go back in and fill them up all right don't don't do your tree like that that's not right that's not right make sure you fill up that tree the proper way again we're going to next direction it's okay if the trees overlap they family all right if you're married and y'all laying in the bed you know the leg just fall over the place your let your arm is over somebody else you know that's what that's family and these trees are family so that's what it is all right so we're coming down we pull it from that line hope i'm not going too fast again we're just pulling pulling down boom 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 all right you just tuning in uh, again we're going to be teaching these lessons virtually uh next week all right sometimes we do two two layers of, of leaves sometimes we do one so you can see the difference right there all right let's do on that last tree this is the last tree we're going to write all right it's okay to go off the page all right i remember we used to say stay between the lines you don't have to stay between the lines you can be free you can uh do what you want to do with these classes you could be experimental again there's no mistakes in art uh, just room for opportunity and we want you to be able to have great opportunities in life all right you don't make mistakes you learn and you get new opportunities you don't take l's you take you learn lessons so this is what painting the paper is about about motivating you it's about guiding you it's about getting you to see how you can take a blank canvas we started with a blank canvas if you're just joining in we're going step by step now your life is a canvas you got to be able to paint it with faith it's important uh, that you take your your uh, guidance your motivation and the faith in yourself into something if you want to be great at anything you got to be able to have some motivation either from someone else or from yourself if you need some guidance if you need to go to school if you need a teacher if you need a mentor you need to get that uh, and, and if uh, you take those two things and you add the faith that you have in yourself your abilities your gifts uh, whatever's inside you, you bringing that out, then you can achieve whatever goal it is. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be a business owner, if you want to be a dancer, if you want to be rich, whatever it is, all you need is motivation, guidance, and faith in yourself, and you can achieve whatever goals or dreams that you have in your life. So your life is a canvas, let's paint it with faith. So we're going to do this last tree, all right? Again, we're going to go right. Again, it's okay to overlap. It's okay to go off the page. We're going to go down this way. I'm gonna go up this way. We're gonna go down right here off the page. That's fine. And I'm gonna just finish this off with some, like we've been doing. Again, hold your brush this way for thin lines, this way for wide lines. I'm giving you techniques that you may have never seen or heard from our paint with paper classes because now we're we're personal. You can ask questions. We can go in depth look. Thank you, Angel, for the shout out. Give me some likes, some hearts. Share this uh, with some people who may want to learn art we're going to be doing free classes all next week um i'll let you know the time uh stay tuned stay into what we're doing again paint with faith you go online get more details about where what we're about as well paintwithfaith.com follow us on instagram give us some likes uh, give us a recommendation and book some classes after this this whole uh time off all right so we're gonna go with that line we're gonna just pull down 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 all right and if your kids have markers or crayons or color pencils, they can follow these same steps. And they'll just have a different, they're painting a different medium. It's okay if they don't have paint, uh, if they don't have a canvas. But they can still follow these steps and create the same technique. These are just techniques. Again, Paint with Faith class will be going to teach you the techniques. And um, can you have this construction paper? Definitely use construction paper. Again, um, you'll be able to to do this but you have to cut those strips uh, very thin when you come to that because i really love doing collages collages are very excited maybe we'll do that for one of those days next week and uh maybe we'll do a, a whole series of of landscapes with this but different materials thank you for that shout out thank you for that question um, but you can use construction paper if that's all you have construction paper glue and um use the same shapes to create the same scene all right so you're going to be using some red yellow construction paper overlaying it cutting some white 
laying those clouds on top of it, especially if you work from back to front. Again, you gotta be able to layer and be okay with layering of those things up with construction paper. Again, you can ask any art question. I've been an artist since I was six years old and um, I have over 30 years of art experience. So if you have art questions, I can give you an art answer. This is what makes this virtual class interactive and awesome is that now you can get some full scope of what an art teacher can give you, a full lesson of what you may want to know or learn uh, from Paint with Faith. And we'll even get into the, to the realm of drawing and coloring as well with different materials. So how is that looking so far? Is that good? Give me a like, give me a shout out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think I need one more right here. I'm just... All right, so I did that first tree different than I did the second two. Uh, I'm going to go in with a little bit of white, not cleaning my brush off, and I'm going to do the other side of these leaves in a light green. All right, let me know what you think, if you, which one you like best, because I did all three trees different. I'm going to do a light green and come across like that. Let me know what you think about that. And again, the way you paint with the, the brush is very important because you want those strokes to show. You want those strokes to to come out a certain way. So you don't want to use the wide way, all right? You don't want it to be wide, you want it to be thin. You see how the brush rotates? You gotta be able to rotate your brush uh, while you're painting, all right? That's very important, the rotation of your brush. Again, these painting fade classes are gonna have different techniques than you normally would have in a regular paint with faith class. I'm gonna give you special art lessons, give you special techniques, give you special ideas that you might need to, to get involved with in these classes, all right? So let's, we're done with the palm trees, I think. Um, again, I didn't want this class to be too long. I want you to be engaged, I want you to be involved. Uh, again, this is our first virtual class. We're doing a beautiful landscape. We're almost done, believe it or not. So I'm gonna clean my brush off. I'm going with the small brush. And uh, it's important that you learn to layer, learn to layer um, your painting. So you always do the background first. I know sometimes we just wanna get into it, but it's better to lay that background foundation first before you go to the foreground. And that's a message for you with, with motivation and with achieving your goals. It's better that you get the background first and then work your way to the foreground. Don't go out and jump too far uh, and then fall, but you can be able to build the foundation, which is what we're doing, to be able to get to the level of success that you want. All right, and I'm going back with some black. I'm going back with black, small brush and black. <clears throat> I'm gonna create a little raggedy fence over here in the corner. You know, when you go to the beach sometime or to a uh, ocean, it may be a little raggedy fence. They're trying to keep the alligators out or, or the kids out or whatever. So we're gonna do three lines, maybe four, um, varying sizes. It's good to have you know, varying sizes to make it look different, to give it a, a different kind of feel. All right, and I'm gonna make it actually a little bit taller, a little bit taller, because some tall kids trying to get into this water after hours. We don't want them to get in. So, <clears throat> so we're gonna create a little chain to keep them out, all right? But, you know, eventually they broke the chain, now anybody can get in. So we're gonna do two rows of that, just whoop, whoop. there you go, whoop, whoop. There you go. So I'm going to keep them out of there just a little bit, all right? Well, at least it'll slow them down. They will have to jump over to get in. So we have a little fence over there uh, for our beat scene. We're looking good so far. Thanks for joining in again. Uh, we're going to widen our trees up. Uh, we're going to widen our trees up a little bit. The base of the tree will be wide and the top will be um, thin. So the base will be wide. And I'll bring this closer to you. We're going to widen up the base. You know, because those palm trees, um, they, they're shaped kind of funny. So, okay, we want them to be shaped that way. And I'll give you your art words of the day. All right, so if you need to, write this down. Organic lines, all right? Organic lines are lines that are not perfectly straight. I like to paint with organic lines because then you can't make a mistake. It's organic, all right? So organic lines are lines that are not perfectly straight. You don't use a ruler. You kind of just freestyle them and go with whatever it is, all right? So we're making lines that are organic. The opposite of organic lines is mechanical lines. All right, mechanical lines are lines that you use uh, tools to make, like a ruler or a T-square. All right, so we're sticking with organic line because these trees are organic. All right, they're made by a human hand. Um, some people may say I have a very steady hand, but it's still organic. I'm not a, I'm not a robot. All right, you're not a robot. 
and as straight as you can make your lines, you still it's still organic because it's made by an organic creature. All right, so we just widen the base of those trees up a little bit. And when you have more time, you may want to go over it twice and make it a little bit darker. This is just for lessons, lessons sake. And I like my trees to look kind of bumpy and and uh, not so straight because it gives me a real a realistic feel of, of a real person doing it. All right, we can we can print a picture out anytime we want. But art is the real realm of thing that can't be duplicated, can't be copied. Uh, thank you guys for joining in. Again, it's the Paint with Faith motivational painting class. We're a mobile company, but obviously we can't go where we want and do what we need to do uh, right now. But we're going to be able to do it for you virtually. So if you don't have it, get your canvas, get your uh, your easels, get your paint. And we're going to be teaching classes all next week. And I'm showing you step by step. We started with a blank canvas. Um, if you join in now, you can get painting with us. And we're almost done, actually. We're almost done. Uh, let me know what you think so far um, and we got a few more things to do and then we're, we'll be done uh, normally I may put some mountains in the back give me a shout out let me know what you think should we put mountains or should we leave it the way it is uh, let me know right now I'll give you a second to, to type that in mountains or no if you want mountains put mountains if you put no put no um, but we're almost done again this is our first virtual class doing this for spring break next week for the kids for the adults for the senior citizens if you can't get out the house at least you should be creating something being creative and being able to do something di different danielle said yes she said put some mountains up there we're just gonna do them in black keep it real simple i might do a little you know technique to them you know while i have you on the line i might as well i might as well so let me let me put some mountains out there now i'm not afraid to go right through these trees so it's already black there, so I'm gonna just put a little mountain coming over here. All right, again, organic lines, very bumpy lines, not too straight. I'm gonna throw a little island over here in between these trees so it doesn't look too bare. I'm actually gonna go right over that, just because. All right, come over here. These mountains will go a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Can you see that? Let me bring it closer. All right, we're going to go a little bit higher with these mountains. Very bumpy lines, all right? Not too straight. We want it to be bumpy. So I like to imagine riding on the school bus, and I'm trying to do a straight line, and your hand is bouncing around. All right, so again, this is a motivational painting class, Paint with Faith. We're going to be teaching these lessons to the kids uh, throughout the spring break. I'll be showing step by step. If you're an adult, if you're at home, and you want to do some art, we'll be teaching you step by step how to do it. Go to Walmart, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Michaels, get you some art materials. I'm using acrylic paint. You can use whatever paint you want. You can use markers, you can use color pencils, oil pastels, anything you want. And you'll be able to do the same class that we're doing, uh, same steps, all right? The steps will be the same. The media or materials will be different, all right? So it's gonna be an easy painting class, but the most important part is that you have a beautiful picture at the end because if you can achieve uh, creating a picture with paint with faith then what else could you achieve in your life with just some guidance some motivation and some faith or belief in yourself you can achieve anything if you have those three that's the perfect combination for you all right we're going to finish this mountain i'm actually going to take a little bit of white just to just to give it some variation all right a little bit of white and just come right on the edge of that just to give it some some kind of variation all right make it look a little bit more realistic not too flat um, just to you know, jazz it up a little bit. All right, if, you, if you're nervous about doing that, you don't have to do it. I'm just doing it for the sake of the lesson for the class. Again, these classes are going to be a little bit more in-depth uh, than our normal classes because I'll be able to give you some techniques that I normally wouldn't give in a regular Paint With Faith class. All right, so join in. Tune in next week as we do these classes. Uh, make sure you follow us. Make sure you like us. You can see us on Instagram. You can see us on uh, Facebook, and then we're going to be creating a YouTube page just for these classes so you can go back, follow up, and get lessons back to back. All right, so I'm going to create some grass down in the water. I'm going to use black, though, just to go with the theme of the silhouette, and I'm just going to flick straight up. Everybody say up. Just going to flick really quick. See? Just the flick of the wrist. I'm just going to flick up really quick to give the illusion of some grass down here at the bottom. All right? Just some grass down here at the bottom, just flicking straight up. All right, some foliage down here, some grass, just quickly 
quickly flicking up, all right? Again, you wanna hold the brush this way, the thin way, not the wide way, so you can have nice, thin, thin strokes, thin lines going up, all right? And we're gonna go all the way across. And again, different techniques. You don't want all your grass to be the same size, all right? Nobody's going out here and cutting this grass on the beach. Nobody's doing that. Um, so you want your grass to be a varying length. You can have a long piece of grass and then have a short piece of grass next to it. That's fine, you know? This is your freedom. This is gonna be relaxing. This is gonna be therapeutic for you, all right? Make sure you're going in and putting all the, all the things you need in this painting. And if it's the other things that I didn't show that you want, uh, when we do these classes, you can say, hey, can you add this or show me how to add that? That's what's gonna make this class really interactive and more successful is, is your involvement uh, with the painting classes. So again, next week, we're gonna be doing painting classes all next week. Um, have your kids join in, get a canvas, an easel. Uh, you don't need an easel, but you can get a canvas and paintbrush. Go to Michael's Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart. They have all those materials there. We're using acrylic paint, but if you don't want to get that stuff, I'll still show you the steps. It still works with a crayon, marker, color pencil, oil pastel, and all those things. All right, so we're looking good. We're almost done here. We created some grass at the bottom, and we're going to do the last and final step before I let you guys go. All right, I'm going to do birds. Now, in order to do the birds, uh, in order to do the birds, again, you want to get thin lines. So you want to take your small brush and you want to flatten it out. All right, flip it over, flatten out again. We're only going to use just the tip or the edge of the brush. All right, we're just going to use that. It won't focus because I'm on the phone, but right there, just going to use that edge, okay? Now, when we were kids, we used to make like Eminem birds, right? Y'all remember that? No, we're not going to do that, okay? We're not going to use, uh, make an M to create a bird. That's not what a bird looks like, all right? I've never seen a bird wings curl on there. Maybe some birds are there. You can watch the Nature Channel, but that's not what we're doing. And then sometimes we just used to do kind of like a check mark for the birds. Y'all remember that? Shake your head. No, we're not going to do that either, all right? We're not going to do that. We're going to do a special technique uh, that we teach Paint With Face students. We're going to flatten our brushes again on both sides. We want our brush to be flat so that when we turn it, uh, that one looks kind of crazy, all right? So we want the brush to kind of be as flat. See how flat that is? See, in these classes, it's going to get techniques that you won't get in our normal classes. So it's, it's good. See how thin that is? That's what we want. We don't want the wide brush. We want the thin brush. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. So we're going to take that to make a very thin line. And we're going to put a couple birds over here. We're going to do two strokes. Everybody say two. We're going to do two strokes in order to create the bird. And again, we're only using just the edge or the tip of that brush. All right. We want it to be really flat and thin. All right. All right. See how thin that is? That's perfect. That's ideal. All right. So we're going to do gonna go right and then we're gonna go left very thin line can you see that all right I'm gonna try to do it as best I can all right here we go here we go so we're gonna go in thin line you see that that's beautiful that's what we want all right and then we're gonna go right from that for the math teachers the apex or that vertex point and we're gonna come right there all right so now we have our first bird okay we're gonna do about four or five of those again two strokes two strokes and the birds can be varying sizes. You got some birds, you know, in the front and you got some way in the back. Uh, so it doesn't matter how big or small you make it. Let's do a small one. Again, we're just using the tip of the brush. All right, we want our brush to be thin like that. Not wide, but thin. Okay, so rotate that brush if you got it big. And then we're gonna do a small bird right underneath, right over these mountains. And the wings will all have to be the same. Some can go up, some can go down. The birds are flying and flapping in different directions. That's fine, let's do about uh, maybe let's do three more. So, oh man, I messed up. Look at that. All right. No mistakes in art, right? You caught it live here. So what I'll do is I'll make this bird bigger. All right. Because he's in the foreground. No mistakes in art, right? He's closer uh, to the island. That's fine. No skin off my teeth. That's fine. It happens sometimes. You can always go back in and paint him out if you want. Again, smaller bird. And then we'll do one last one a medium size right here all right so all of the birds are flying off in a dis distance they're creating their way this is the full painting all right so we got some grass at the bottom we got a little fence to keep the kids out we got um the water glistening we got our birds we got our palm trees one of my old wrestlers joining in shout out to eli what's going on again we're doing paint with faith classes motivational painting classes uh we're going to be doing these uh, doing these classes uh, all spring break 
And if you, you know, tell your kids to join in, I'll let you know the date and time. And I'll teach a different lesson every day. You don't need the most expensive materials. Canvas, uh, brush, I use Taclon. You can use whatever brush, the techniques can be the same. The most important piece is that you stay motivated throughout the class. Don't get upset, uh, don't be discouraged. We always keep a pure positive attitude because it's not about the painting, it's about achieving the goal. And the goal is to have a beautiful or finished painting at the end. Because sometimes in life you're gonna do some stuff and you're gonna think you messed up, but you didn't mess up because there's no mistakes in art. And, the, and uh, there's no mistakes in art, so there's gonna always be able to create opportunities for you. No mistakes in art, just room for opportunities. So you don't take L's, you only learn lessons. And your life is a canvas, you gotta be able to paint it with faith. So those lessons that you learn will make you better at what you're doing. The lessons you're gonna learn from your painting is gonna make you a better artist. Uh, have I had many challenges in art? Sure, but that's what's going to make this easier for you and make it better. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be a business owner, if you want to achieve any goals in your life, you got to have three things. You got to have some motivation, you got to have some guidance, and you got to have some faith in yourself. That's what Pay Me Faith is about, a motivational painting company. We're a mobile company, and we normally come to you, but this time we're coming to you in a different way virtually, and we want to be able to give you the blessing and the, and the gift of art. So one last thing before we close out, in order to be a great artist, this is your first art test, all right? You've been with me for a while. Some of you have been watching since we started, so I have to give you a test. I've been an art teacher for 12 years, so I got to give you a test at the end of this. You know, what do you need? And I want you to type in the answer. What do you need in order to be a great artist, okay? So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. What do you need to be a great artist? Uh, and I like some of the answers that come out when I, when I put this question on the, in my classes. <clears throat> Again, for the people just joining in, Paint with Faith Motivational Painting Classes. We're going virtual all next week and for the rest of spring break. And we may be doing this for the duration of um, us being stuck in the house because some people just need to get some stress out. Some people need to get motivated. Some people need some therapy. We're going to give you all those things in our Paint with Faith classes. We're going to give you therapy. We're going to give you life coaching. We're going to give you some beautiful art lessons. And you got just some relief, you know, going through these, these tough times. Nobody gave me an answer yet. The question is, what do you need to be a great artist? Very good vision. That's a good answer. That's not the right answer, but it's a good answer, okay? What do you need to be a great artist? So how are people going to know that you're a great artist? And what do you need? And this is the end of our class, so somebody give me the right answer. In order to be a great artist, you need one thing that everybody knows that you're a great artist. Let's see if they get out. give you uh, one more minute to give that answer before we close out. What do you need to be a great artist? Faith, very good, good answer. Not the right answer, not the right answer, but it's a very good answer. Uh, faith is necessary, guidance and motivation, but we need one last thing uh, before uh, we close the class out. I'm gonna see if somebody can give the right answer. We got uh, some people joining in. In order to be a great artist, you need one last thing, all right? And I'm about to give you the answer. Uh, this is an open book test, so. What do you need? If you had my Paper Faith classes before, you know what the answer to this question is. In order to have a, be a, a great artist, uh, that everybody knows you, well, you need one more thing. I'm gonna give you 30 more seconds to answer. We got faith again, that's not the answer. Your brand, very close, very close. So in order to be a great artist, you need to have a signature, all right? Pablo Picasso, Monet, Matisse, uh, Van Gogh, Renoir, uh, Salvador Dali, all those great artists have a signature. And the most famous one of all is your boy, Walt Disney. Everybody sees that signature everywhere. If you're watching Disney Plus, you see his, that's his actual signature, all right? That's right, Angel, your name. So we're going to sign our name at the bottom. I'm going to use white on this black for the high contrast so people can see it. All right, we're just going to throw my signature in there, C and then D. And I like to dot it with the I, all right? All right, so Chevis Davis, all right? Again, thank you all for joining in. This has been a Paint With Faith motivational painting class, and you've got to be able to uh, have faith, guidance, and uh, motivation in order to achieve your goals in life and to be a great artist. Thank you for joining in. Share this video with somebody who you know wants to take some art lessons or learn how to paint. We're gonna be doing this for the duration of spring break. I'll give you the date and time. Stay, stay, um, excuse me, stay tuned. Uh, again, it's our first live uh, class. Thank you, Danielle. I think you was here from the beginning. 
Uh, shout outs to you. Make sure you check out paintwithfaith.com. Uh, see what we have. Make sure you follow us. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Uh, like our page. Share this with an artist. Let the kids know we're going to be doing this next week. They can do this. Go get your art supplies, all right? You can use markers. You can use crayons. You can use color pencils. You can use oil pastels. And I'm going to show techniques that you won't learn in a normal Paint With Faith class uh, so you can be able to have the best painting or drawing or technique that you need. Again, we just did a simple painting, a palm trees, a beautiful sunset, birds flying with mountains in the sky. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys. Remember, oh, there's two things before we close. Remember, your life is a canvas uh, painted with faith. Now, we always end our class with a paint with faith song. Uh, and if you, I can't hear you, but I'm going to imagine that you're joining in and singing with me. So the words are, I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. All right, so let's do it together. I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. Come on, y'all. I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. Last time, last time, I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. I'll let y'all know when the next class is coming up.